before Valley Forge, during the Revolutionary War, there were 13 armies here or doing 13 different things. Washington finally had time to bring those different armies together to create a unified fighting force against Great Britain. So Valley Forge National Historical Park and places like it are a great example of showing how people coming together and sacrificing for a common good can accomplish great things. At Valley Forge, if the soldiers didn't talk to one another or work with each other, none of the huts would be built, none of the fortifications would be built, the soldiers wouldn't be getting their supplies they need and training for battle. And if they weren't doing that, there is no army and the, war, and the American Revolution would be over. Just imagine if we would all come together, talk to one another to solve a pressing problem. Just imagine what good we can accomplish if we did that. Just like all these people did here over 240 years ago. I was really glad to be asked to be a part of this performance today to honor our veterans on Veterans Day and to get to play music that I used to play a lot when I was a member of the military. In the military, the soldiers and medics and mechanics and pilots, they all come together uh, to get the job done, a mission, uh, and a lot of diverse people come together. In that same way, I think we as musicians come together on stage to put together a product to present to people. And we have a common mission. Um, and the music that we're playing, it's not, you know, going to win a war or <laughs> solve some big world crisis, but it does bring us all together. It is important as an American people that we always think about how we can pull together in an extraordinary and difficult time, such as this that we are currently in with a pandemic amongst other forms of strife. And I feel like that this is a place certainly that I come to when I'm struggling uh, and when I need to be able to center and balance myself, to be able to remind myself of the heritage and history that we share here in this community, in this commonwealth and in this country for pulling together and for uh, being stronger together than we are separated. I am not only a veteran, but my dad and grandfather are as well. Uh, my brother served in the Army. I have several active duty cousins right now. Uh, this is an incredibly important uh, part of our population that we should always honor and respect and celebrate. And this is a pretty remarkable way to do that uh, through the beauty of our community and these really important spots, but also through the beauty of music. Uh, my great-grandfather did not survive the Holocaust, uh, but he was a professional musician in Poland. Uh, and so this is a particularly nice way to think about his memory uh, and the importance of this, this country and its promise. <laughs>
So it was a great honor to play here today to honor our veterans on this very, very special place. Great to be a member of the Philadelphia Orchestra and get out and, and uh, have this experience here at Valley Forge. I do come from a military family. My grandfather and uncle were part of the greatest generation in World War II. My father was in the National Guard. And my, my nephew is a Marine and he was uh, very seriously wounded in Iraq. And my brother-in-law was a, a career Navy and Army chaplain. Veterans Day, I think, is important to me because both of my grandfather and my father were in the military. They were drafted in World War II in Vietnam. So I think of their service to our country and what it did for our freedom. Standing here at Valley Forge is a special time for me because I never been here before and didn't understand the importance of this location. Now that I know, I can't even imagine what they went through living here through that horrible winter and then, you know, forging forward to, you know, reclaim freedom for their people in this country. And it's, it's special. I think it's, uh, it's really neat to be here.
Freedom's foundation at Valley Forge was established to create and build an understanding of the spirit and philosophy of the American founding as reflected in its core documents. Our charters of freedom, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights. To do this, we bring students from around the country here to our beautiful campus for multi-day, immersive, intensive programs in the spirit of the American founding and its continuing relevance. During the summer, we do something similar for teachers, providing college accredited graduate level professional development programs that look at the ideals of the American founding as manifest throughout American history. Our campus is open 24-7, 365. We have uh, this magnificent 75 acres of rolling woodlands and anyone is welcome to come at any time to enjoy the statues, the monuments, uh, the forest and uh, the foliage, the, uh, the birds and the surroundings. So please do. We hope that those who visit this campus will leave with a renewed appreciation of our shared heritage um, as, uh, as participants in the American experiment. And that applies whether your ancestors came on the Mayflower or uh, whether they just crossed the Rio Grande. All of us are shared participants in this wonderful experiment we call the United States of America. Thank you.